a gentleman a few years ago that was carrying a rifle and walking down 153 here in Powdersville, which is a huge, huge, tra hugely traffic area. There's business all over the place. So as you can imagine, people freaked. They called the cops. Now, the cops came out because they got the call. If cops get a call, they have to come out and check it. They stopped him. They made sure, one, that he was not a felon carrying a gun, and two, he did not or was not in the possession of a stolen weapon. What's up, everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School. And some of y'all are probably wondering why I've got this big, huge case here. All right, it is because we are talking about carrying long guns here in South Carolina. Okay, uh, we're going to be talking about in the vehicle, uh, as well as what a lot of people ask me, can I, can I open carry a rifle in the state of South Carolina? So I apologize, it's taken a little bit longer than I was expecting. The new constitutional carry stuff just kind of threw me off and I was really making sure I had all of my facts straight before I started this video and help everybody understand what you can and can't do with a long gun. And again, this is what the legal system says. It's not a constitutional system. It's not a justice system. This is what the legal system says. What you do is what you do. I'm just telling you what the legal system says. Society has not collapsed. We still have a legal system. As far as charges and things like that, I'm going to tell you what the charges say. Um, and it really depends on law enforcement and prosecutor for the area that you're in. Now, my next little uh, disclaimer here is... It all depends on law enforcement for your area, and it also depends on prosecutor for your area, and a bunch of other things that we're gonna get in depth. So, tell you what the legal system says, what you do is what you do, and I wanted to talk about this because, again, it's I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of questions about it, and there's been some uh, misunderstanding and misinterpretation and misinformation with the new constitutional carry stuff. So, let's get into having a long gun in your vehicle or open carrying a long gun on your person. First thing we're going to start with is the open carry stuff. Now, I've done a lot of digging, okay? I've got my little notes here because I wanted, again, to make sure I was getting out all the right information. There is no official code under the state gun laws that says you can ca open carry your rifle. You can't open carry your rifle. So there's nothing official there, and I have triple checked this stuff. So all you keyboard warriors, if you want to finger bang away, finger bang away. All right, if you uh, can show me just our documentation um, that you know I have gotten something wrong, then so be it. All right, but I'm just not going off of you finger banging away on your keyboard. So there is no official law, and I have talked to SLED. And I have also talked to uh, a couple of self-defense attorneys in this state. Uh, so I'm just telling you what the legal system says. There is no official coded law saying you can or you can't. So with that being said, you can open carry a rifle in the state of South Carolina. Now, what I have been told from SLED and also some self-defense attorneys is any city or county can put an ordinance up stopping you from open carrying your rifle or i should say there's no real way some well some rifles you probably could conceal carry but there's no real true way to conceal carry your rifle unless you just have something short ar pistol things like that but overall it's pretty much going to be an open carry so yes cities and and or counties can put ordinances in places to stop you from carrying your rifle. So check your cities and your counties. For where I'm at up here, 
there is no ordinance in place about that. And matter of fact, we even had a gentleman a few years ago that was carrying a rifle and walking down 153 here in Powdersville, which is a huge, huge, tr hugely traffic area. There's business all over the place. So as you can imagine, people freaked. They called the cops. Now, the cops came out because they got the call. If cops get a call, they have to come out and check it. They stopped him. They made sure, one, that he was not a felon carrying a gun, and two, he did not or was not in the possession of a stolen weapon. After that, he was on his merry way. That being said, understand, if you carry a rifle out in public or out on a hiking trail, do not be surprised if they call the cops on you. Or I shouldn't say they if someone calls the cops on you because there are people that live in this state, just as we're in the South, that don't feel you have the Second Amendment rights, they, should, they don't feel you should be able to own guns. There's judges, there's prosecutors, there's law enforcement. They are in this state. Yes, they are here in this state. So just understand, if you do it, you are going to draw attention. And if the cops are going to arrest you, don't sit there and argue with them. Just you being calm and cool is going to look way better if you have to stand in front of a judge or a jury. And that will really help out your lawyer if that is something that has to get involved. But that's, I want to give that disclaimer, just understand you are going to draw attention. If that's what you were looking for, by God, throw a freaking rifle on and go walk around in public because you will get that freaking attention. So if that's what you're going for, go for it. If you're just wanting to do it and go hiking, just understand, somebody might call game warden, cops, things like that. And be mindful of where you're hiking because some of these hiking trails and parks run along our state lines between Georgia and, to, or Georgia and us and North Carolina and us. So just be mindful of where you're at. Now let's talk about in the vehicle. I wanted to get the open carry stuff out of the way because it's um, very quick and short with the vehicle. When we're talking about the vehicle, and I discussed this in my constitutional carry video, what they are saying, they call it a concealable weapon. Again, this is 2331-210, section five. A concealable weapon means a firearm having a length of less than 12 inches measured along its greatest dimensions that may be carried openly on one's person or in a manner that is hidden from public view in normal wear of clothing except when needed for self-defense, defense of others, and the protection of real or personal property. Most of your long guns aren't going to measure in that. Even if you look at something like the tactical life takedown that'll break down and fit into something like a, a large med kit. When it's put together, all right, they're still gonna look at it as a rifle. Um, the definition of rifle is uh, anything designed or designed or built to be shouldered. So once you put all that stuff together, it's designed to be shouldered. Okay, it would not fall into this conceal concealable weapon category. Now that is not saying you can't have it in your vehicle. You just would not be concealing it in your vehicle. You are transporting it in your vehicle. Again, I'm giving you what the legal system says. What you do is what you do. You keyboard warriors can finger bang away all you want. But this, a long gun, 
does not, so long gun meaning rifle or shotgun, does not fall into the concealable weapon category. Anything that is classified as a rifle, meaning it's built to be shouldered and fire a projectile, will not fall into the concealable weapon category. So what you're doing is you're transporting your rifle in your vehicle. So, what does that mean? That means it will be section, what is it? I think it's title 16, chapter 23, section 10, something like that. So 16, 23, 10, under the state gun laws, it will be transported in the luggage compartment of your vehicle, meaning trunk of the vehicle, but for wagon, van, hatchback, truck, SUV, the term luggage compartment means behind the rearmost seat. So if you have wagon, SUV, crossover, Jeep, something like that, your rearmost seat behind it, essentially that cargo area that's behind it. That is your luggage compartment. For trucks, Okay, the luggage compartment is where it's designed to keep luggage. So that's going to depend on your truck. If essentially it's still going to be in the cab, it's just going to depend on how many, how big your cab is, but behind the rearmost seat. Now it must be transported in a container that has integral fasteners. Now let's look at the definition of integral fasteners. Integral fasteners implies the fastener is integral to the container. Integral fasteners are formed areas designed into sheet metal products and functioning by interlocking or interfering one component with an other components during assembly. Right here. This is your integral fastener. All right, these are your integral fasteners. Now, the other thing that falls into that are your rifle cases that are soft cases that zip all the way shut. Those zippers are considered integral fasteners, formed areas designed into, I'm not necessarily saying sheet metal, but essentially designed into the product where it can close up all the way. So as long as it zips all the way shut, it snaps, latches, that is your container with your integral fastener. Just, we are transporting it, we are not concealing it. Or, like in mine, I have a safe under the back seat. That's where I put some of my stuff, especially my long gun, but I'm transporting it. I'm not concealing it. Still be respectful, be courteous. Law enforcement has a hard enough job. If you're transporting it in your vehicle, let them know that you have it in your vehicle and you're transporting it. But I'm just telling you what the legal system says what you do is what you do how you do it is how you do it so again no official coded law but you can open carry a rifle in the state of South Carolina cities and or counties can put ordinances in places to stop you from carrying a long gun on your person in their city or their county if you have it in your vehicle, it is not in the concealable weapon category, meaning it's measured at the, what was it again? I keep for always forgetting how this thing's worded. It's all about the wording. So, measures less than 12 inches at its largest part. If you want attention, open carry your rifle. Just understand you've got to deal with law enforcement and prosecutors for your area. 
they're going to be going off the definitions that are in the legal system here. So please, folks, make sure you understand the stuff. If you've got questions, feel free to ask questions. I'm just telling you what the legal system says. All you keyboard warriors, finger bang away all you want. But this is what the legal system says for carrying a rifle on your person here in South Carolina and transporting it in your vehicle here in South Carolina. If you've got questions, feel free to reach out. And always remember folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.